Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I wanted to come to you today and talk about this. <laughs> listen, listen. Y'all hoes messy as fuck. When I tell y'all, <laughs> at least, at least 15 or 20 of y'all were in, my, in the messages, in the comment section, talking about, am I going to talk about Kevin's, you know, Wendy's husband, Kevin Hunter, and this nigga who he supposedly was fucking around with. I was confused. I didn't know what y'all were talking about. And I'm like, what? And I was like, Tasha K interviewed. Um, for those of there's a, a YouTuber. Um, she, her name is Tasha K. I mentioned her. She's the one who broke the story about um, Sharina, Kevin's girlfriend, having the baby. And everybody else, everybody tried to act like it was a shade room. Remember, um, I think Angela Yee. Charlemagne, I think I think Charlemagne was the one. Somebody at the Breakfast Club, I can't remember who said it, tried to make it seem as though the, the Shade Room was the one who broke the story. But I think Tasha K was actually the very first one, even before like Page Six, Daily Mail. I think she was like the one who broke the story, from what I believe, from what I understand. Um, so, anyways, she uh, did an interview with this guy named Avion Foster. I think he previously went by the name PM. Now, before we get started, let me, first of all, <laughs> so anyways, y'all hoes is telling me how I need to go. Uh, am I, are you going to talk about, are you going to talk about Wendy Williams' husband? Girl, what y'all talking about? I'm confused. I'm, I don't know what y'all talking about, girl. So y'all finally tell me to go watch the interview. <laughs> Avion Foster, previously known, I think it's P.M. First of all, the boy can sing his ass off. For real, for real. Like, I can honestly say that I don't think I've ever been that impressed by someone's vocals. As far as like, you know when you you know okay, you know when you hear hear about these stories, oh you know so and so can sing? Okay, girl. And then you hear they're like, oh okay, girl, it's it's cute. I feel like his voice is the type of voice that people would listen to back in the day when the real singers was out. You know, now, no shade to nobody, but now everybody pretty much sounds the same. No T, no shade. From the Scissors to the LMAs to the Hers to the Jaquays to the Trey Songs, they pretty much all have the same exact voice. So when I heard him sing, I was like, oh my God, the nigga can sing. I'm looking at the interview. I'm like, okay, who is this woman eating these grapes? I just saw some woman beside him going, I mean, demolishing those purple grapes. I said, God damn, them grapes are good. Baby, the way she was chucking them grapes down her throat, I don't know if it was because she was really hungry or if it was because it was more of a, like a nervous type of feeling. Um, from what I heard, um, I listened to the entire interview from beginning to end. I had to rewind some parts, but from what I understand and what I wrote down, um, I think how the whole thing got started off was he was at the Wendy show. Um, and this is the part where I got confused on and maybe some of you guys can help me out. So was he already discovered before he went to the Wendy show? Like did someone already discover him online? Because from what I got from what he was on, from what I got from what he was saying was when he went to the Wendy show, there's like a pre-show, you know, of course, I guess like to warm the audience up before the actual show starts. And they had already had it down where he was going to sing. Just so, I guess to see if, see how the audience would react to him. Of course, to see if the, if the clip would go viral, to see if they had anything on their hands. So again, from what I got is, they already knew he could sing. They brought him to the studio so Wendy and Kevin could hear him sing and to also see what type of reaction they would get from the world, basically. Um, so he, up, he stands up in the audience, he sings his ass off, the motherfucker can sing. I say, where is he from? Because as soon as I saw that phone on his hip and that all white on, I said, he got to be from some small ass country town because then the only niggas who were all, I know that was not, I know that clip was not from yesterday, but then, even if it was a year or two ago, you, them are the only niggas that still walk around here with phones on their goddamn waist. Anyways, um, he's talking. I don't like, this is just 
This is just a pet peeve of mine. I don't like when people are in interviews and they have on sunglasses. I don't like that. I don't. I cannot see your face. I can't see your eyes. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why you keep looking at the camera, sir. He keep looking at the camera talking, but girl, I can't see your face. I don't like it for when Lady Gaga did. I remember when Lady Gaga used to wear shades in interview. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. That's just that's just me. I, Something this serious, when you're saying that you fucked somebody's husband, I need to see your whole face. I need to see every eyeball. I need to see your facial expressions. I need to see everything. Um, this is where I got confused. The interview was going so fast to me. I didn't like that. I wish that... Um, I was about to call it girl Nikki. I wish Tasha K would have kind of slowed it down a little bit because it literally went from the Wendy studio to him talking about Nikki... Kevin's girlfriend to him having sex with Kevin. This literally like went from it like it went from here here to here like in two minutes. Okay, ho 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 ho. Why are we talking so fast? <laughs> we need to slow down. These are some. This is a serious conversation that we're having. You're saying that you had sex with someone's husband. He is allegedly straight. Why are we going so fast trying to get to Nikki and the sex? Let's start from the beginning. Let's start about how this whole thing happened. How were you introduced to Kevin? Okay, I got that part. So anyways, um, I'm not going to lie. The interview started getting strange to me. At one point, I clicked it off. I said, this is some bullshit. I'm not watching this. I'm not going to lie. And then I was like, no. You told some of the people in the comment section you was going to watch it, so watch it. So I go back to watching it. Then he starts to... Um, you know what it sounded like to me? It sounded like a guy who took on an explanation of... Honestly, I'm going to say this much. It sounded... When he started talking about when two manly men have sex, it's like an adrenaline rush. It really... Lo That's when I kind of started believing him because it sounded like to me when you have like a predator preying on like children but in this case he was a man you have a predator preying on a man and for the most part you know menly men as he says especially men who have not come to terms with their sexuality they don't look at them at, at themselves as being gay they just look at it as though man I'm just getting down all like you hear a lot of people say oh, do he get down so it's like it's like him wanting to not say that he's gay, but Kevin has taught him or told him what they're doing is not gay. It's just something that two manly men do. Do that make sense what I'm saying? Did that make sense what I was saying? Like, I don't think that Kevin, if Kevin is gay, and this is all allegedly, let me say allegedly, this is all allegedly, if Kevin is allegedly gay and he had a sexual relationship with this man, it sounded like to me, A. Beyond was trying to convince us that they were not gay. It was just something that two manly men did. That's why it was such an adrenaline rush. Does it make sense? I don't know. Anyways, the wife, uh, her name is Queasy. I think Queasy from what I remember. Um, she said they were friends first and then they got married. Then, girl, he drops a bombshell and said that, that he's a her, 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 hermaphrodite. Is that what you got a pussy in a dick? I should have Googled that before I made the video. Damn. I think that is. Or it's like you have two of the... I don't know. I think that's what it is. Um, but I just... I didn't like how... I'm going to say this much. I... Well, this is not, this is not, I have no issues with Tasha K. I don't even know Tasha K. But I'm, I didn't like the way that she just like didn't like, oh, girl, somebody told me some shit like that. We need, oh, oh, girl, rewind, rewind. You, what? Hold on, what you say? I didn't hear what you said. I need you to repeat that. Lean closer into the microphone because I didn't hear what you said and the people didn't hear what you said either. We need to go, a little, I wish I would have went into a little more, a little bit more detail than that. Um, at this point, I put, what is this end game? At this point, I got confused again. I'm not going to lie. I was confused at this whole interview. Um, what is this end? Like, when I think about, okay, like, 
Like, what is his end game? What does he expect to get out of this? Is it just like his lawsuit that I found out later on in the conversation? Is it just a lawsuit that he wants to win? Like, because this is how I look at it. With, I don't see anybody wanting to work with him after this interview. Like, I don't think that he'll ever receive a recording contract. I mean, unless he waited a few years, went to The Voice, or tried out for American Idol, and tried to put this situation behind him. But I'm just, at this point, I'm thinking during the interview, like, what I put, what is his end game? I'm confused. Like, what, what do you plan on getting out of this? And I know, like, it's not the same. The reason why I don't think it's the same thing, like, for example, like, if a woman is sexually assaulted or, you know, she has sex with these men in the industry and she comes forward, it's probably going to, and I'm trying, I'm trying to look at it the same, but I don't think it's the same because... I don't think it's the same because... With a woman, I feel as though, I don't know. I think I'm trying to make it a difference. I think I'm trying to make it a, a, not the same. I guess I guess this end game is to shed light on Kevin. I guess that's what it is. I guess that's what it is. I guess I guess this end game is to, sh to shed light on the fact that Kevin is a low-down, trifling, dirty son of a bitch. Allegedly. <laughs> that's his end game. Um, but I want to know... Because I feel like, you know what? You know, I think what I'm trying to say. I feel like for women, I feel like women are more than likely to be able to bounce back from something like this. You see what I'm saying? Like, if a woman came forward and said, he did this to me, he did this to me, you know, I feel like a woman could, would receive, probably, not all the time, of course, I think they, will, they could receive a welcome back party. Like, okay, girl. We're sorry this happened to you. So and so is gonna sign you, and we're gonna make this work. Where it's already hard enough for you. Don't really hear about gay artists, anyways. You see what I'm saying? So, as you you saying that you slept with a married man, what do you feel like you're gonna get out of this? Do you feel like you're gonna get a recording contract? Because with you being gay and black, like gay people are just not on the charts. You see what I'm saying? I guess that's what I'm saying. Um, girl, <sighs> he says one night, girl, I gotta drink water on this one, bitch. He says one night he was in a condo, at the condo, and Kevin came over. He said Kevin was high. High on what? I need to know how on what. High on coke, high on meth, high on weed, high on life. Like, high on what? Because I ain't never heard nobody be like, high on what? Um, he says that Kevin came over and ate the, ate the booty like groceries. He said his booty was a shitty mess. <laughs> he said his booty was a shitty mess. He said his booty was a shitty mess and Kevin ba basically ate boo-boo. <laughs> And at some point, I started thinking, is this boy slow? <laughs> I hate to say it. I started thinking at one point, Avion was a little bit, like, I was thinking that when he was in high school, he probably was in the class that had two or three people, including the teacher and the teacher's assistant. Um, he says that Kevin basically raped him. Um... He says the first encounter they had sexually, um, he said that Kevin asked him to go to a spa. And he said that Kevin got naked and got into some water. Um, and then he said he knew in his head that it, he said, so he said he left out of the room and went to another room. And he said that he knew, he told himself that if Kevin came into the room and told him, let's go, he knew at that point that Kevin was gay. Kevin came into the room and said, let's go. So at that point, he knew Kevin was gay. Allegedly, is gay. Um, he said the second time they had a sexual relationship, he said they both gave each other oral and they penetrated each other. Um, he said that Kevin has a very small penis. <laughs> he said that penis is a baby penis, honey. He said that, he said that penis is a itty bitty teeny weeny <laughs> girl. 
uh, when my grandmother used to eat, the, eat those Vienna sausages back in the day with crackers. Girl, we used to fuck them uh, Vienna sausages up too, girl. Excuse me. Um, I looked over. This girl is fucking these grapes up. That's what I put, girl. She is fucking these grapes up. <laughs> Now, this is where I started side eyeing the fuck out of Avion, okay? So he says he doesn't like Wendy because she didn't take up for him. Now, this is where I need to, this is why I want Avion and everybody out there in the world who fucking with a married man or fucking with a, somebody in a relationship. You do know that the partner don't owe you shit, right? Like, even if Wendy didn't know at the time that you and her husband allegedly had this affair, like even today, that shouldn't even be in your mind. Like you shouldn't even still feel like you don't like Wendy. You don't have no beef with Wendy, but you don't like Wendy because she didn't take up for you. You were fucking her husband. Like on some real shit, like if Wendy saw you, girl, it could have been Hurricane Katrina outside. Wendy could have saw you standing on top of your roof. And if she still flew by, I would be like, well, damn, you was? Fuck. <laughs> like, I just want people to realize that when you're having sex with someone, someone else's partner, that that partner doesn't owe you anything. Like, at all. Like, at all, at all. Like, girl. Um, he says it's impossible for Wendy to know that Kevin is gay because he puts up a front. This is what, like, I'm telling you, like, this is why I'm getting confused with the interview because it sounds like the things that he's saying are things that someone taught him or told him to say. I'm not saying that he didn't have a sexual affair with Kevin, but it just sounds like some of the things that he says is like someone coached him or, some, or something that he convinced himself was the truth and it wasn't. Like, there's no way you're going to tell me that even women who don't want to accept the truth, it's like a woman saying, I didn't know my husband cheated on me, but when she but she probably knew the whole time. Like, yeah, you have those women who are probably blind and don't know you do. Um, I don't know. I just feel like, um, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting sent. Maybe I was in my feelings because he, because he said Wendy owe him something. Y'all know how I feel about on Wendy, okay? Um, Quizzy joins the conversation again. I think her name is Quizzy. His wife joins the conversation after she has three grapes left. <laughs> That's what I put on my face. Um, she said that she noticed that the conversations that he and Avion and Kevin would have were weird. And now this is where it got weird for me. When she says, um, it sounds like a sugar, like was she saying that she was a sugar baby? Or was she saying it just sounded like a, like a sugar daddy and a sugar baby on the phone? And how she knows it's because she used to be a sugar baby. Like that's why I got confused. Um, he says Wendy cheated on Kevin. I mean, I, anything is possible. Anything is possible, but honestly, I wouldn't give a damn if she did anyways. All the shit that he done did to her, the least she could do is go get digged down by another nigga. At least you owe her that much, okay? Um, then he said... <laughs> then he says, R.I.P. to my man, Nipsey Hussle. He gave me the strength. Now he can... Now, now he's saying... Oh. Now he's saying you can tell, you can tell Kevin is gay. I thought you just said that. So you said that other people can sell that Kevin is gay except for Wendy. Anyways, um, Quizzy starts to speak about her about her being with a bisexual man. A bisexual man. I'm mean, she's an open minded woman. I'm gonna say this much. I I think it's more common than not. I think a lot of people are. I think a lot of women are with men who are they know they know that are bisexual. Um, I even had to come one. Okay. I'm not going to get all into it, but basically I know a guy who's married, has kids. And I used to always wonder like, how does this person, 
he surrounds himself with gay men, gay women. Some of his best friends are gay men. I've seen him tag. I've seen him tag other people on Instagram on posts that are gay posts that are of gay men. Like a man shaking his ass, a man with a thong on. Like the only people that are looking at men with thongs on on all on uh, on big booty men on the big booty uh, on the big booty uh page is gay men. You know how like those pages where they have where gay men are posing in thongs where they booty tooted up in the air. I've seen him post like I've seen him tag other people in those posts, and I'm like, how are you so brave to tag someone knowing that like we can see. Like I can see you tag this tag your friend in this post of a gay man with his legs wide open, with his dick print showing, with his ass suited in there. And then it then then it finally like, oh my God. I was like, oh well mate, in this whole time I didn't even think about this. I don't know how. I was like, what if his wife and him have an open relationship? Or what if his wife knows that he fucks with men? This whole time I was calling him trifling, 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 trifling. I was like, what if he not trifling? What if his wife, and I'm like, his wife has to know. When I thought about it, and I really, I was like, his wife has to know. There's no way that you can, I'm sorry, and this may sound ignorant. There's no way that 90%, 99% of your friends are flaming homosexuals. There's no way you, you can be brave enough to tag your friend in a photo of a man's penis. So all I'm saying is to say is a lot of women, I think, not every, but I think a lot of women um, know what's going on. They're in these relationships. They just, I mean, it's not our business. They just, you know, really re refuse to say anything. Um, I didn't understand why Tasha got offended when he said that a lot of men basically get down. I don't even think he didn't even say because she started talking about not every man, not every. I was like, why is she talking about not every? I thought that was weird. Um, because he didn't say every man. He just said a lot of men, which a lot of men do, believe it or not. Like I said, I'm telling y'all, these are not stories. These, these are not so. I, I know someone who was literally in the gay club. In the gay club. Hugged up on niggas. And the next weekend, he got married to a woman. This is real life, bitch. I've seen it. I know this person. Well, I don't know this person, but I know a person that knew him. And we were all at the same club in the same spot in the same circle hanging together. And then somebody tell you, you know, he can marry. He can marry to a woman. Babe, I saw the wedding pictures and everything. Telling y'all shit like this shit is real. It's real in these streets. Anyways, um, I think a lot of men, not every man, of course. I think a lot of men get down. I do. I think a lot of men are bisexual. I think a lot of men are gay. I think a lot of men are, are, are with women that don't want to be. Um, he says that he did. He he says he didn't. Wait. He says he didn't kill. I'm sorry. I, I don't even know what I wrote. He says he didn't care if he chose Kevin. Oh, he didn't need. I, oh, I'm sorry. I, I realized what I put. He says he didn't need Kevin. He chose Kevin. You lying, girl, because just earlier you said that basically no one was paying you attention. You know, you wanted to be discovered. And basically you felt like Kevin was your only way out. I remember him saying that. I could be lying, child, because I was cleaning up and all types of shit when I was listening to it, trying to go back and write notes, trying to rewind shit. Um, but now he's saying that, um, you know, he... Had a very good career as a wedding singer, getting paid fifteen hundred dollars, three thousand dollars. So if that's the case, then why? If that's the case, then why did you feel the need to have to set up this, 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 this like for Wendy's pre-show? You said that y'all set this up so to see what type of reaction that the crowd would give you, and also to so Kevin and Wendy could see. So I guess they could sign you to their management team. Like at this point, like your story, you not your stories are not adding up. Um, then he goes into this thing about people looking gay. Do I look gay? Okay, I'm not gonna sit here and bullshit y'all. Yes, people can look gay. Yes, people can act gay. That's a that's a simple-minded way to put it. But you, 
girl, you know. But you all, I also know that there are very, 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 very masculine men out there who don't appear to be gay and are probably big ass, not all probably, are big ass bottoms too. <laughs> so I'm just saying, girl. Um... He says that at Wendy's birthday celebration, I guess like the sound check was off and his, I guess his performance was ruined and Kevin got so upset that he fired two female employees. Um, he doesn't understand why another man would be so passionate, you know, if he's not gay. Like this is, I think at that point he started reaching to me like Kevin could have been very well upset about your performance not being right because that could have been one of his ways to intr introduce you to more people. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, but I don't think Kevin has a uh, a, a record, I mean, a um, record label. So maybe he thought that maybe there could have been a L.A. Reid or a Babyface or a Clive Davis in the building. And he wanted to make sure that your performance was up to par and because it wasn't he got so upset it could have been all t different types of reasonings um but i feel like he was reaching on that part um i don't know i'm gonna say this much i don't know if the boy lying or telling the truth i'm just gonna be honest with y'all um some parts i was like oh okay i can actually see it i mean we all have heard stories of Ke kevin being sexually fluid he likes women. I heard he likes trans women, allegedly. Allegedly, he likes men. So, you know, I don't put nothing past nobody. I think maybe if the interview wasn't moving so fast and it would have slowed down in certain parts and he didn't seem so... I, I don't... I, maybe he was just really excited and he wanted to get the story out. You see what I'm saying? Um, again, like, I'm not going to call him a liar, but I'm not going to say he's telling the truth because a part of me does believe he's telling the truth. It does. But then it's some stuff that he said just wouldn't add up. But then it's like, well, maybe he is telling the truth. Um, but, yeah, that's all I really have to say about the Tasha K interview. Um, that's it. Bye, y'all.